What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Brandy.com Garage Sale Transformers Story Founders, or GSTF2 for short. It's a new show, and today we are doing episode number 14 of our Is It Difficult to Transform series, season number 3. And we're going to try to answer that question Is It Difficult to Transform? Talking about this guy, which is Transformers Studio Series number 68. Deluxe class, Leadfoot from Transformers Dark of the Moon movie. He is, of course, one of the wreckers. He is a Target exclusive in the US. He's a Toys R Us exclusive, I believe, here in Canada. I got him at Toys R Us. You know what? Uh, yeah, I don't know if I got him on sale, but the Transformers stuff were on sale that night. Um, or in, in general, I think there was a 15% off promo on everything you buy in store, so that was pretty cool. But um, let's get right. So uh, let's take a look at the box. I kind of like this. This guy better than Top Spin, who I like, or who I looked at uh, in the previous episode. I don't know why, but um, it's just unique. And there's that big Target logo, and um, well, he's a little more difficult to transform. Well, more steps to transform. 18 versus 15 for the previous one. He's a little less parts formery, I think, which is a good thing. He has these two shiny sticker thingies that say he is authorized, he is a member of the Wreckers who turned the Decepticons into scrap. Okay, whatever. Let's get right to opening the box up now. There you go. Cutting the tape, opening the box, pulling out the stasis pod, and freeing him from stasis. Hey, check it out. No tie-downs. Chatting! Um, the... I didn't pull out the backdrop anymore. I don't think I'm going to do that anymore. But it's basically the Battle of Chicago. Um, yeah, not too interested. So he's got lots of accessories there. But if you guys know I'm not an accessory guy. I don't like being an accessory to the slime, to the grime. But there he is. He looks so cool. <laughs> I don't know why I find this cool. But I mean, just the shape and the red and the Target logo, the face. Leaves a little less to be desired. It's not bad. And that's a whole lot better than Leadfoot. But, um, or Leadfoot, I'm sorry, um, Top Spin. But let's see how. Let's try to answer the question is it difficult to transform? So, first things first, his fist will fold back 180 degrees. Okay. Um, these things probably need to rotate, no? Okay, so we need to pull this out somehow. No. Uh, yo, there you go. That's cool. And then, um, I guess his head will hide. Yeah. And then what happens to these? So everything. Oh, that stays like that, open like that. So that should have been red, but it's not. It is what it is. This thing. Okay, his head is supposed. Okay, I don't know what to do. That's it. I think I'm gonna have to force this one. Or not. Okay, I I don't know what's supposed to happen here. Okay, anyways, let's figure that out later. Let's do the other parts. So he's number 42, whereas, as you know, Topspin is number 48. Roadbuster, is that the name of the third guy, the green guy? Keep forgetting his name. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, what do I do next here? Well, oh, what did I just do? Okay, I just did that. So obviously this is this has to hide, but I don't know how it can flip over feel like it just won't I kind of have to force it oof oof so I just forced it okay and then it's gonna go in there but then his head I need to f how does it how does it fit in there okay it won't close there must be a proper position for the head or some sort. Or do I pull? Do I need to pull out the head? So I, I man, okay. Is it difficult to transform? I mean, 
this is supposed to be easy. Oh, okay. I, I think you really just have to push his head back. The whole head just pushes back. Okay, let's try to... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You have to do the head first. You have to do the head first. Yeah, there's, there's a hinge in there. Push the head down. There you go. And now, we are going to just pull this over everything. Kind of, um, the really crappy plastic. Oh, gosh. It's a little more flexible, so that makes it a little easier to pull over there. That thing, basically, it's, those things are kind of in the way. This shouldn't have popped off, but it it's, doesn't make it difficult. Just... Okay, okay, there you go. Now, can I close it? No, still can't. Still can't. There's some, there's this, oh, it's not yet folded in. Okay, it has to go like that. Man, this is tough. Okay, there it is, finally. Okay, now we got it, but now his head is pushing this out, which shouldn't be, I don't think. Which means his head should be turned the other way. Okay, we did just that. Now, works like a charm. Pretty nice, that is pretty good looking already. All right, and then obviously this will just be Oh, they just plug under in there. And then the fists actually don't need to fold. Oh, they do. Okay, but this one should line up outside. And any tabs that we should be lining up? Nope. Not. Oh, this one okay, pulls out and then there you go. Okay. So that one will go there. That's pretty much how it is. Fold in, fold out and move it all around and now just the legs basically just have to um well we can tap them in together and then it will just it should just fall into place but okay we shouldn't have done the arms yet we have to do this first then fold everything down and before you plug in the legs you have to plug these in first there you go and now we can do this, which should tap into somewhere. It's probably there. Okay. Oh, oh boy. Is it difficult to transform? So it's not difficult to transform. There's a little bit of twisting involved, but that doesn't make it difficult to transform by our definition. Ah, oh man. There you go. Otherwise, man, that, that looks pretty nice. Oh, this guy looks a whole lot better with his ar all his armor on, but man, that is pretty nice. And again, there's that Ultra Wreckers uh, label on his um, tires. And he, man, that's just so cool. I, I love cars, man. I love cars. And this one looks good. Very good. Take a photo, yeah, very cool. So, is it difficult to transform? Obviously, the answer to that question is a no. Let's get him back into robot mode now, and we'll just basically undo our steps. We need to unplug the arms, fold them out, unfold the hands. Oh, wow. How did that just pop out? There it is. There it is. Okay, we are going to untap two feet from that thingy and we are going to pull this out. We're going to fold this in. We are going to form his feet. How does his feet look like? I think that's good enough. Just fold it down. Okay, Should push it forward a little bit, make it look little better there you go it's very nice and then everything just folds forward and oh sorry gotta pull this out is it easier to unfold this way nope 
maybe it is. So that, that's how it's, it was supposed to be. And then this one just, um, well, it, it, it won't. Kind of have to force it out. There it is. Yeah, you really need a little bit of forcing out here. And there it is. And then we are just going to, what are we going to do next? That, that's pretty much how it should be. We need to fold this back. There you go. Okay. And then what? So I think that's how it is. Oh, okay. So this one pops open a little bit. That allows this, the whole thing to come out. And then what? Since how short he is, um, I, I don't remember how he looks like. But this is a little shorter than I would have thought. Oh, oh, there you go. You have to pull the head out all the way. And this thing will just drop into place. I think that's it. That's how it is. He's a short stubby guy. There's one test we can do to see if we got him. Yep, we got him right, more or less. So pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. This is ah, again such a oh, there's tabs here that you have to tab in together. Tab tabs and tab holes that go together. But yeah, I mean that is very cool. But that being said, that is about it for this episode of Ronji.com's Garage Tale Transformers. So, a final story, GSTF2 for short. It's the new show. Once again, this is the show where we try to answer the question Is it difficult to transform? This is season three of our Is it difficult to transform series. It's episode number 14. We hope you liked this episode. And if you did, don't forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe. Also, please follow us on the social media channels for our Patreon. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, or Patreon, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Last but not least, please share this video with your friends, your family, your loved and everybody you know. Including your enemies because they might start to like you again. As Alfonso's Prime would always say, I have here Nanosa on my side. Uh, but yeah, until next time, Autobots, rev up and rule loud. That guy's no show, the robot.